Hey everybody, Mr. B here. I've got another special clean out your pantry kind of thing. Using what's on hand is very important in these times, right? Hope you're taking care of yourself out there. Wash your hands. So we're gonna do a pot pie. This isn't fancy, it's not schmancy. We're not using heavy cream. We're not using puff pastry. This is all store-bought, all pantry staples. Whatever you got on hand, it's gonna be delicious. Let's get started. So typically, truth be told, I use a rotisserie chicken for this most times, but um, these days, actually when I was at the store, the rotisseries weren't out yet, so I got some chicken breast. This is just as easy, and uh, what we are going to do, because chicken breast is bland as hell, as everybody knows, we're going to bring some flavor to it. We're going to heavy salt good flaky salt and pepper a little garlic powder because why the hell not And some form of kind of seasoning salt. So I'm going to use some Mrs. Dash because, you know, it brings a lot of stuff to the, to the table, you know. We'll flip these over and do the other side. <clears throat> For some flavor here, I'm going to drop some fresh rosemary. I just happen to have a bush out in my yard super yum super yum on that and then let's just sort of sprinkle roughly roughly chopped garlic on top of that this is just for flavor aromatics and then i'm going to give all of this sort of a nice drizzle with some olive oil Into the oven for about an hour, internal temperature 165, kids. Okay, 375. This has been going about. Look how beautiful that is. Whoop. Going about. 45 minutes. I think we're done. We're going to let it cool and then we're going to shred it. Actually, I'll be putting the pot pie together tomorrow. Um, so this is a real easy kind of do ahead. Shred it, put it in a bag, put it in the fridge, pull it out when you're ready to use it. chicken pot pie super easy we are going to take the chicken that uh, we roasted off the other day I'm gonna throw in some frozen mixed vegetables we've got what carrots corn green beans and peas in there a little chicken stock to kind of bring everything together we're gonna use a cream of chicken soup some canned diced tomato to potatoes Cranberry sauce for garnish, and I'm even using a store-bought pie crust. And I'll probably put an egg wash on that just to make it pretty. Mix all this together, and then I'll show you next steps. 
just going to start just uh, dumping and going here. Like I said, this is super easy. One of these days we will do, um, you know, a homemade version. In goes the chicken. We'll pop in fresh the uh, frozen veggies. Canned potatoes. Bum, bum, bum. Which you drained, by the way. And then we'll get in the soup. Now one thing I do here is let's just add just a little bit of some salt for some seasoning here. Now remember the chicken is pretty heavily seasoned. Some pepper. And then to marry it all together, I add just a little bit of some poultry seasoning. Throw in a little bit of that stock. And then we get this mixed. All right, there you have it. We'll move on to pastry. So as you can see, this is so damn easy. Perfect for a weeknight thing here, guys. So I am spreading my pan here. I'm going to get the crust going. You guys have worked with these. We'll just unroll it carefully. Ooh, kind of crumbly. Who knows when I do this in a 9 by 13 I'll put both of these on the top. Alright, then in goes our filling. Second crust. A few holes. We'll add a little bit of our egg wash. And then lastly, I'm going to just top of that with a little bit of flaky salt. You will thank me. into a 375 oven for about 35 minutes. So this ended up going about 45 minutes. You just want to go until, you know, it's coming out beautifully brown. Something like that. We're going to let this rest for just a few minutes. You know, I tell you what, start to finish, you're talking about an hour and a half. Now, I know that we, um, you know, roasted the chicken off a day or so ago. Um, but again, like I said, you can get a rotisserie chicken, bring it home. You can pull the meat off of that. That's a time saver step. Otherwise, as you've seen, this is all pantry stuff. We'll do a homemade one at some point, but... Um, you know, during these times, I think, uh, you know, simple pantry stuff is, uh, is best. And another thing is the, uh, the cost factor on this. I mean, <clears throat> you know, probably I'd say anywhere from 12 to 15 bucks, you've got, you know, a good meal for, you know, four or five people, depending on, uh, you know, how many teenagers you may have in your house. Um, freezes really, really well, uh, so you can put it up. So we're going to let it rest, then we'll plate, and we'll taste it. And we'll garnish this with just a little bit of cranberry sauce because it's delicious. 
All right, let's give it a taste, see how we did. Be super hot. I gotta tell you, this chicken turned out to be the bomb. Roasting it off like we did. That olive oil and rosemary and garlic. So much flavor for, you know, split chicken breast. Mm. It's just quick and easy pantry com uh, comfort food, y'all. It's like a big hug. Mm -mm -mm. One more. Alright, guys. There you have it. Pantry chicken pot pie. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And we're going to see y'all next time. Bye, kids.